Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, in the last class, I gave one problem uh, in growth under DK. I think uh, Pragadesh and Yashashwini uh, solved and posted the problem in the class on the, in our WhatsApp group. Okay, but anyway, just I will again I will start the problem and then I'll, first I will finish the problem and then I'll go to the remaining. First problem, okay. I think okay. Uh, I will write it again. In a culture of uh, yeast, if the active ferment. doubles itself uh, in three hours okay uh, by what ratio Will it increase in 15 hours? On the assumption that The quantity on the assumption that uh, the quantity increase at a rate proportional to itself. Suppose, uh, I, th I think uh, you know differential equation, that's why using differential equation you are solving this problem. Suppose, uh, uh, suppose you, uh, a layman, so he who don't know differential equation, then how he will solve this problem? So if you know how to solve the problem without a differential equation, so you may not get the exact answer, okay? But can, if you know how to solve this problem without differential equation, you can try. So you may have some intuition. What you done? Any idea? Uh, we could cross multiply that x. Sorry, sorry. X tends to two x and uh, hmm. nine three. Uh, I'm not understanding properly. Maybe you are correct, but uh, okay. So I'm not expecting this answer. Maybe that is a reason. Uh, what about Dikshida? Uh, no idea. Sir. No idea. Pragadish? I don't know. Okay. Sanjay? Is Sanjay is here? No, yes, sir. Okay. No idea. Okay. So, so 
the active ferments doubles itself in three hours. Okay, so suppose uh, in three hours it is uh, doubles. Okay, wow. So originally you have something. Okay, so in six hours, how much you are expecting? Four times. Sir. Yeah, four times. So nine hours, how much you are expecting? Twelve hours you are expecting, and fifteen hours you are expecting thirty. So this is something uh, I am not using proper mathematics. So just to buy uh, uh, knowing, okay. So some logic, okay. <clears throat> so I am trying. So I am asking like this only. I am not uh, to use the proper mathematics, okay. So okay. Anyway. So I think we are also getting the uh, say the answer which is very uh, nearly equal to 32. So, but uh, now I uh, want now we will use a differential equation and we'll try. Okay. So let x be the amount of yeast. Amount of yeast at time t okay so the question it is given so what is given The rate of increase is proportional to x. <coughs> the rate of <coughs> increase is proportional to x. Okay, so that means uh, uh, dx by dt is uh, proportional to x, that is dy, dx by dt equal to k into x. So this implies uh, uh, dx by x is equal to k into dt. So if you integrate log x is equal to kt plus log c. If you integrate, you will get log x is equal to kt plus log c or log x minus log c. That is log of x by c equal to uh, x by c equal to kt. So this implies x by c equal to e power kt or x is equal to c into e power kt. So initially, uh, initially I will take uh, Initially, let x not uh, be the amount of yeast. Be the amount of yeast. Okay, so that is when t equal to zero. x is equal to x naught. Okay. Wow. So, therefore, when t equal to 0, x equal to x naught means from this equation, x naught equal to 
c into e power t zero. So this implies c equal to x naught. Substitute c is equal to x naught here. So hence uh, x is equal to x naught into e power k t. So now next. Uh, given the question i will write in the next page so what is given the question when t equal to 3 and t equal to 3 x is equal to 2x naught so twice the uh, uh, doubles itself in 3 uh, 3 hours okay so this is given the question. So now, therefore, uh, so 2x0 equal to x0 into e power k t is 3. So therefore, 2x0 equal to x0 into e power k, but uh, t is 3. So from this, uh, you can cancel x0 and x0. So you can write e power 3k is e power k whole power 3 uh, x naught x naught gets cancelled this is 2 so this implies uh, e power k equal to 2 power 1 by 3 actually i need to find uh, k but uh, just i will keep e power k okay e power k equal to 1 point please check in your calculator 1.2599 so keep your calculator maybe you need for today's class you need calculator so if you have calculator uh, keep with you so this is e power k so now again you should substitute e power k here so x is equal to x naught into e power k value whole power t so x is equal to x naught into uh, e power k is 1.2599 double nine whole power t okay so now now we need to find when t equal to 15 we need to find when t equal to 15 uh, okay uh, so that is a question okay so uh, and what ratio it will increase in 15 hours so now uh, i don't know x so i need to find out so that is equal to x naught okay in this equation which equation uh, yeah here x is equal to x naught into 1.2599 t i know that 15 from this, I need to find x. So, using calculator, please check it. Uh, 1.2599 whole power 15 is 31.99 into x naught. So, this is x. So, now this is x is approximately equal to 32x naught. So, in therefore, in 15 hours, the quantity of yeast multiplies 32 times. So this is the first problem is over. Now second problem. If 30% of radio of uh, radioactive uh, radioactive substance
disappeared disappeared in 10 days okay how how long it will how long will it take how long will it take for 90 percent a 90 percentage of it to disappear so if you know you can try okay so again uh, again uh, i don't have calculator now uh, okay so uh, any anybody have calculator now i am going to ask a question if you know you can if suppose any one of them have calculator you can tell the answer otherwise you can wait for me i will take it my calculator at least ah yes yes okay uh, okay now the first question is uh, uh, 30 percentage of uh, 30 percentage of radioactive substance disappeared in 10 days okay va so th this is a rough calculation so here i am not using any differential equation so out of 100 30 percentage disappeared means i have 70 so next 10 days in 70 Uh, 70 into 30 by 100. Okay, wa. So you should uh, you should do in cal cal C 70 into 30 by 100. So 21. You should subtract 21 from here. So you will get uh, 49. Na. Okay. Similarly, you should tell next to 10 days in 49. You should uh, multi. Uh, you should uh, you should multiply by Uh, actually here 70 into 30 by 100 sorry so both are same but uh, you should do here so next uh, you should do 49 into 30 by 100 so i think i need calculator otherwise you should uh, multiply and subtract 49 and tell the final answer so anyone of them tell quickly 44.7 Fourteen point seven. Ah, I think this value ah. Yes. Thirty five point. Okay, and then you should subtract. Ah, uh, subtract from forty nine. Okay, ah, forty forty nine minus fourteen point seven is what? Thirty. Thirty four point. Thirty four point. Okay, next a similar process. Thirty four point three into thirty by hundred. You will get an answer. You should subtract that answer from thirty-four point three. What you are getting? Twenty-four point zero. Twenty-four point zero one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next. Sixteen point eight. Sixteen point eight. Okay, next. Eleven point seven six. Okay, good. Thank you, Dikshida. Uh, now, here you can stop. The reason is, uh, the reason is uh, here. What? How long will it take for? 90 percentage of it to disappear so uh, i have remaining 11.76 if i add one more 10 it will it will uh, reduce to below 10 okay wa? so 90 percentage of uh, disappear means i have only 10% so 
that is here i have only 11.76 percentage so it will take around 60 days so uh, here i am not using any differential uh, differential equations so just uh, basic mathematics okay now using a uh, differential equation you will find the exact value even also you can find the exact value here it will take some time okay uh, and then you should okay, uh, i don't want to uh, expand much more i think uh, I, uh, up to you got it this level so the same thing if you proceed like this you can get it now i will go to uh, subject uh, let x be the quantity of radioactive x be the quantity of uh, radioactive substance Time t okay we know that the radioactive substance decomposes at a rate at a rate proportional to x so therefore uh, the differential equation is dx by dt actually the dx by dt is uh, proportional to x but here uh, is a dk problem so that's why i'll take uh, the constant is uh, minus k okay in the previous problem the population is uh, increasing so that's why i'll take uh, dx by dt equal to uh, plus kx so from this you will get dx by x is equal to minus k into dt if you integrate it log x is equal to minus kt in plus log c okay so this implies uh, log of x by c log of x by c equal to minus kt so this implies you will get x by c equal to e power minus uh, kt so x is equal to c into e power minus kt okay now so initially Let x naught be the quantity of radioactive substance. Okay, so that is. Uh, then t equal to 0, x is equal to x naught. This is x. x is equal to x naught. Okay. So, therefore, uh, if you substitute here, uh, 
here x not equal to c into e power zero. So from this you can easily get c equal to x not. So I'll just substitute c equal to x not. So this implies x is equal to x not into e power minus k. T. So next k t. Okay. So given. So again, what is given the question? When t equal to ten. Okay, t equal to ten. Ten days. Okay. Uh, decrease in radioactive substances. Decrease in radio active substance is thirty uh, percent of x naught thirty percent of x naught. Okay, so that is a uh, Uh, thirty percent of x naught means uh, uh, that is thirty percent thirty divided by hundred x naught. Therefore, present quantity present quantity of substance. Is equal to originally it is uh, x naught. The thirty percent percent disappeared. That thirty percentage of x naught is disappeared. So remaining you have seventy percentage of x naught. Okay. So now uh, now x is equal to x naught into e power minus kt. Now at present I have what seventy by hundred x naught. So instead of x. I'll substitute seventy by hundred x naught. Okay, x naught into e power minus k. So t is nothing but ten because after ten days, thirty percent has disappeared. Remaining I have seventy percent. Now from this you should find the value of e power minus k. Okay, so x naught x naught gets cancelled. So seventy by seventy uh, by hundred equal to e power minus k whole power ten. So this implies e power minus k equal to seventy by hundred whole power ten or zero point seven seventy by hundred is zero point seven whole power one by ten. So please. Uh, check in your calculator. E power minus k value is zero point nine six five. So please check it. Now once you got uh, e power minus k value, uh, now I am going to substitute e power minus k value here. X is equal to x naught into e power minus k is what zero point nine six five whole power t. So x is equal to x naught into e power minus k. E power minus k is zero point nine six five whole power t. Okay. Now, uh, now we need to find the value of t. Now, okay. I'll write here required required to find the value of t. Value of t when ninety percentage of the substance substance disappeared. Okay, so that is. Uh, That is ten percent edge is ten uh, percent uh, edge of x naught 
ten percentage of x naught is present. Okay, so that is uh, then x is equal to ten percent of x naught. So that is equal to zero point one x naught. So when x is equal to ten percent from this equation, okay. So therefore, zero point one, zero point one x naught. This ten percentage of x naught equal to x naught into uh, x naught into zero point nine six pi whole power t. So from this equation. So now uh, x naught x naught gets cancelled. So this implies 0.965 whole power t equal to 0.1. So if you take log on both sides, so t log base 10 0.965 is equal to log base 10 0.1. So now t equal to log base ten zero point one divided by. So anybody got the answer? Sixty four point three days. Sixty four point three days. Okay, uh, sixty four point five. I got it. Uh, what What is your answer? Sixty four point six. Six or that? Six three. Six three or that? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so maybe we we'll check it. Nine six five. So any changes here? I'm asking because. Uh, okay. So otherwise you will tell later where I, there is a change. Okay, so this is equal to minus one. Okay, log log zero point one is minus one. This is minus uh, zero point uh, zero one zero one five five. So this is the answer I got using calci. So I got sixty four point five. So therefore, the number of days required for ninety percent of the substance. To dis to disappear uh, is equal to sixty four point five days. So now next problem, third problem. The population of the country increases increases at the at the rate proportional to Current population if 
the population doubles in 40 years. In how many years? In how many years will it triple itself? Your, your answer is what? Ex expected answer is what? Without using differential calculus. Just, uh, just your guess. The population doubles in 40 years. And how many years will it will triple itself? Sixty. Yeah, yeah. Correct guess, Subramani. So that is a natural. Okay. Okay. My, now using uh, differential calculus, uh, differential equations, uh, we will uh, we will find the exact value. The solution. Let x be the population. At a time, t, year. So what is given the question? Okay. The rate of increase is of uh, x is proportional to to x itself okay so so therefore the differential equation is uh, uh, dx by dt equal to kx because the population is here uh, increasing that's why i'll take the constant plus k so from this uh, you can get dx by x is equal to k into dt, this implies log x equal to kt plus c plus log c, this implies log of x by c, okay, directly I will write x is equal to c into e power kt. I think uh, the previous two problem, I explained step by step. So let x naught be the Initial population, initial pop population okay, so that is. Uh, that is at t equal to 0, when t equal to 0, x is equal to x naught. So therefore, x naught equal to e, c into e power 0, this implies t equal to x naught. 
substitute c is equal to x not here you will get uh, x is equal to x not into e power k this is uh, one so next so this is also given the question given that when t equal to 40 the population doubles for 2x naught but therefore x is equal to 2x naught so this is equal to x naught into when it is doubles when t equal to 40 so e power k into 40 so x naught x naught gets cancelled so this implies e power k whole power 40 equal to 2 so this implies e power k equal to 2 power 1 by 40 or, or 2 power 1 by 40 is 1 point 0 1 7 5 please check it using calculator so now to find t next we need to find t when uh, when x is equal to uh, uh, when x is equal to aditya when x is equal to what 3x not sir yeah good 3x not so substituting in one okay substituting in one so three x not equal to x not into e power k e power k is one point 0, 0.175 whole power t. So x naught x naught gets cancelled. We we'll get 1.0175 whole power t equal to 3. Okay. So if you take log on both side, uh, t into log is 10 1.0175. Equal to log t base 10. So t equal to log 3 base 10 divided by log 1.0175 base 10. For us, sir, and what is the final answer? Is for us, sir, is here? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Yeah, please tell the final answer. One minute. Ah, okay. So, please check. One ten point four. Uh, please check it carefully. Uh, I got sixty sixty three point three six. Okay, so T is approximately sixty three point four years. Please check it again. So I think you got the same answer. Uh, uh, uh Part again. Yes, sir. I got 63.3. Oh. Okay. Okay. So actually, our prediction is 60. Okay. So I we got 63.4. Okay. 63.3 or 63.4 is good. Okay. Please check uh, Parasan correctly. Maybe you'll get the answer, exact answer. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to. What is time now? Still we have time. Okay. 
ஒன்னும் புரியல we have to find its uh, deflection under given loading okay in the bend form the fibers of uh, fibers of the lower half okay lower half are stretched and uh, those of upper half are compressed in between these two okay in between these two there is a layer of unstrained fibers called the neutral surface so in between these two like here okay so that is called the neutral surface the fibers the fiber which which was initially along the x axis so this is the y axis and this is the x axis okay again i will repeat the fiber which which was initially along the x axis that is the uh, central central horizontal axis of the beam now now lies in the neutral surface lies in the neutral surface in the form of curve called the deflection curve or the elastic curve okay now we shall encounter uh, encounter the differential equation while finding the while finding the equation of this curve this curve means this deflection curve or the elastic curve. consider a cross section of the beam this is the cross section okay of the beam uh, cutting the elastic curve so this is the elastic curve this dotted line originally it was the x axis okay now we have the dotted line okay so consider a cross section of the beam cutting the elastic curve okay in p in p and the neutral surface and the neutral surface in the line a a dash the line a a dash the line a a dash is called the a neutral axis of this section neutral axis of this section okay now it is well known from mechanics that the bending moment m about a a dash of all forces acting on either side either side this side or this side either side of uh, either side of the two portion of the beam separated by this cross section is given by the bernoulli euler law m equal to e i by r so the bending moment okay uh, okay the bending moment m equal to e i by r where e is the modulus of elasticity of the beam i is the moment of inertia of the cross section about a dash r is the radius of curvature 
of the elastic curve at, uh, at the point P of x, y. Okay, if the deflection of the beam is small, okay, okay, the slope of the curve, the slope of the elastic curve is also small, so that we may neglect uh, y dash whole square, that is dy by dx whole square in the formula. So, you know, uh, radius of curvature equal to 1 plus y dash square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y double dash. So, in this formula, you can neglect uh, dy by dx whole square because the deflection is, uh, the beam is small, the slope of the elastic curve is also so small. So, that's why I will uh, neglect this one. Thus, for small deflection, capital R equal to the numerator is now 1, the denominator is d square y by dx square. Now, if you substitute the value of R in this equation, we will get a bending moment m <coughs> equal to ei by uh, d square y by dx square. If you differentiate m with respect to x, you will get a shear force that is equal to ei into dq y by dx q. So, if you again differentiate with respect to x, you will get inter intensity of loading that is equal to dq m by dx square equal to ei into d power 4 y by dx power 4. Okay. So, now, so here, uh, once you solve the differential equation, you will get the arbitrary constants. Okay, wow. arbitrary constant. So, using the end condition, uh, the arbitrary constants appearing in the solution of the differential equation for a given po given problem are found from the following end conditions. Okay, at a freely supported end. So, freely supported end means uh, which you figure 14.23. So, here, okay, freely supported end. Uh, there being there being no deflection, no deflection and no bending moment. So we have y equal to zero and d square y by dx square equal to zero at the freely supported end. So at x is equal to zero also uh, y equal to zero at uh, at x is equal to zero y equal to zero at x is equal to zero uh, second derivative is zero. Similarly at x is equal to l y equal to 0 and uh, second derivative is 0. Okay, next, uh, at, at a horizontal fixed end, okay, uh, figure is 14.24. So, here uh, they explained two concepts. One is horizontally fixed end also from this diagram and, uh, and a perfectly free end uh, A, that is also from the same diagram. Suppose first imagine uh, this, uh, this A is here like uh, like like this okay he, okay here a and x are coincide okay at a horizontally fixed end okay the deflection are uh, you, you can also imagine like this embedded at both ends okay embedded at both ends okay so at a horizontally fixed end the deflection deflection is zero deflection and the slope so both of them are zero so we have y equal to 0 and dA by dx is equal to 0. At a perfectly free end, so one side is uh, fixed, other side is uh, free. Okay, there, be, there being no bending moment or shear force, we have we have second derivative and the third derivative 0 at the free end. Okay, at the free end. So this is uh, again the same concept. Okay. Uh, embedded at the both ends. Here, this is a cantilever beam. Uh, fixed, uh, em embedded at the left end, free at the right end. This is uh, simply supported at the both ends. Okay. So, here it is, conservatively it is given. If it is embedded means boundary condition. Y equal to 0, Y dash is equal to 0. If it is uh, uh, simply supported, okay, or uh, simply okay it is a uh, free uh, free means uh, y double dash uh, y double dash and the y triple dash are zero okay for free free ends number that beat this one and then sub simply supported or hinged okay simply supported means uh, where here the first one simply supported means uh, y equal to zero second derivative zero y equal to 0, second derivative is 0. 
okay sometimes the one, one end is uh, one end is embedded okay the other end is simply supported okay suppose x is equal to l is embedded okay and x is equal to l is uh, like uh, uh, simply supported then when x is equal to 0 if it is embedded means y equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 y dash is equal to 0 the other end is uh, simply supported means when x is equal to l uh, uh, y equal to 0 when x is equal to l y double dash is equal to 0 okay so similarly you should understand this uh, 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 boundary condition or end condition using this diagram and using this table correctly so if you have any doubts you can ask you may ask now or you can ask tomorrow also okay so the last concept is a member of a structure or a machine when subjected to n thrust uh, only is called strut and a vertical strut is called a column there are four possible ways of the end in the fixation of a strut both ends are fixed okay called built in or encastrate strut and uh, second one is one end is fixed or other end is uh, freely supported freely supported or hinged or pin joint and third one is one end is uh, one end is fixed other end is uh, free that is cantilever both ends freely supported or pin joint so now uh, i think the same concept okay i don't want to again repeat okay these are the same just to go through uh, what i told in the previous slide it is consolidated here okay the first problem uh, just i give the idea you will try okay still i have two more minutes just i will read the problem uh, anyway i will do it in the next class the differential equation satisfied by the beam uniformly loaded WKG per meter uh, with one end is uh, fixed, okay, one end is fixed, and the second end, second end, this is the second end, is uh, subjected to tensile force capital P is given. So this is the differential equation of the uh, differential equation of the uh, uh, B, okay, that uh, okay. Differential equation satisfied by the beam uniformly loaded. Okay, so show that the elastic curve for the beam uh, with the conditions. But the condition is given here y equal to 0 and uh, dy by dx is equal to 0 at the x is equal to 0. So you should prove that uh, the deflection of the beam or the elastic curve of the beam is equal to y equal to uh, w by pn square into. So this is the final answer. So everything is given here. I think you can try. If you got the answer, you can post in the group. But I will do in the next class, tomorrow class. Okay, thank you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, we'll meet tomorrow. So thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.